Okay, welcome to Lynx Driving School. This is a video in relation to the B and E towing test regarding the coupling and recoupling between the vehicle and the trailer itself. Okay. The first thing you'll be required to do when you get into the rear of the yard having done your driving would be to uncouple. But I'm going to show you the recoupling first. So, what we first need to do is ensure that we check the trailer. So the examiner will say to you, can you please um, treat this trailer as though you've never seen it before, okay, before you do the recoupling process. What this actually means is you must do a trailer check. So the first thing you need to do is approach the trailer and check the handbrake. Okay. Give the trailer a bit of a push also, just to make sure that the vehicle is uh, nice and secure. Then you do a 360 degree walk round. So physically touch everything that you see. So we're checking the tyres there, we're checking the nuts to make sure it's secured onto the actual unit. We're also checking the tyres there to ensure that there's no cuts, bulges, rips or tears. We're checking the lenses to ensure there's no cracks or breakages. Reflectors there to make sure that they are nice and secure and they're not hanging off. Same with the, uh, the registration plate up there identifying the trailer, just make sure it's not hanging off. Moving along now through to the um, the, the tyres and the mud guards, again, have a good touch, make sure that it's not hanging off, and make sure the tyres are legal with no cuts, tears, etc. Once we've checked those tyres, move on to the next stage. Okay, again, checking lenses. starting to check the lights, reflectors. We then go in the vehicle itself, okay? Because remember, you must have a load in the trailer which weighs 600 kilograms. So get yourself in the back of that uh, trailer, check it's all nice and secured. Once that is done, then you can hop back out, just check the door hinges, Make sure they haven't eroded. And it's important that you tell the examiner that you've had a number plate made up to match that of your vehicle. Some examiners will ask you that question. So make sure you point it out to them. Don't wait to be prompted. Okay, so we continue our walk around the trailer, ensuring that everything is um, nice and secure and not causing a danger to other road users. Again, ensure that you check all doors, making sure the catches are, are correct and secure the um, secure the vehicle. Okay, once we've um, completed the trailer check, then we can go into the actual coupling of the trailer. So what you're required to do then is drive the vehicle forward, and you must position that vehicle 50 centimetres away from the trailer area. Again, when you're making the move from the side of the trailer, carry out full observations left and right to ensure that uh, you're aware at all times of persons likely to walk down the sides. Again, when you're doing the reversing section, ensure that you're looking out through the windows, blind spot areas, to ensure you've got no traffic etc coming towards you. Move the vehicle back nice and slowly. Drive in a controlled manner. If you can, try and pick out a fixed point somewhere within your vehicle so that we don't hit the hitch area of the trailer. Now you need to park some 50 centimetres away from that area as is demonstrated here, it should be sufficient in order to attach the breakaway cable, which is the first part of coupling the trailer. Ensure that the cable goes around the join there, because we don't want it dragging along the, uh, the tarmac area, which obviously creates a danger. OK, we're now going to go into the, uh, the coupling stage. One health and safety warning, never ever 
walk across the trailer area okay because you may end up um, catching the uh, breakaway cable there and you could end up falling over and breaking ankles and the examiners do not like that okay then so we're now going to go into the coupling stage of it so we're going to release the handbrake pull the trailer or maneuver the trailer just over the tow ball area once the over the tow ball area you must reconnect the handbrake without fail okay then we can start to lower down the uh, the trailer onto the tow ball by using the jockey wheel okay we're going to wait for it to connect once it's connected you must without fail then turn the jockey wheel in the opposite direction and raise the back end of the vehicle this is a serious fault if you do not do that okay as you can see it's been demonstrated now we then lower the jockey wheel okay once we've raised that area and we stow it make sure that you secure the jockey wheel by tightening all um, joints okay that's now stowed what we need to do now is now connect the electrics release the handbrake and that is the trailer connected but that's not it what you'll have to do next is get back into your vehicle and turn all your lights on and have your lights checked so turn the ignition on activate your hazard warning lights your dip lights etc and then do a 360 degree walk round to ensure that all the lights are working correctly Please remember that once you've checked all your lights, you must without fail ask the examiner to please check your brake lights. If you, I will, if you fail to do that, that is a serious, and this is the very last thing you need to do on that test. And you don't want to fail as the last thing. Okay, so that's the recoupling exercise. So remember what I said, the first thing you're going to do is to do the uncoupling. So what we need to do now, we've now returned into the rear yard, we now need to go through the uncoupling phase. So again, there's a specific order that we need to do it in. First thing we need to do is apply the handbrake. Again, just give the trailer a bit of a push as well, just to ensure that it's being held in place. Okay, the next thing we need to do is then uh, lower the jockey wheel. Again, secure it. Okay, then we need to raise the trailer off the tow ball area. Once it's become disconnected, you must give the trailer a physical push. Again, this will go down as a serious if you fail to do this. Next thing we need to do Disconnect the uh, electrics. Disconnect the breakaway cable. And that is the uncoupling stage. What you must do now is get back into your vehicle and reverse the vehicle down alongside your trailer. Again, make sure that you carry out full observations, checking your blind spot areas, stick your head out the window so you can ensure that there's no other vehicles or pedestrians coming anywhere near your vehicle or the trailer. Again, nice controlled speed, not too quick. And then you get out and then the examiner will give you further instructions okay so remember you come into the rear yard the first thing you're going to do is the uncoupling and then you'll go through the trailer check and the coupling up of your vehicle and the trailer 
Okay, that's about it. So thank you very much for looking at my video at Lynx Driving School and good luck with your B&E towing test.